Hey guys, welcome back to Real People Reviews. Today we'll be painting the skateboard in seven easy steps. Today we are mixing it up and giving it a go at some painting. Um, to start, I'll be taking my wife's old carver swallowtail and begin by removing the trucks. To find everything you'll need for this project, check out the supply list in the description. Step 1. Take off those trucks by securing the screws on the deck side with an allen wrench and slowly loosen the nuts on the truck side with a skate tool. Cool tip, do not lose your screws and nuts. Seriously, don't trust yourself. Put those screws or nuts straight into a bag or box. We're going for no lost screws or nuts for anyone using this tutorial. Step two, once you've got the trucks removed from the board, we can start with some sanding. To sand the board, grab some medium grade sandpaper and some high grade sandpaper for the tough spots. At first I tried hand sanding this board. It can totally be done, but if you have access to an electric sander, go for it. For me, I went in the garage and grabbed my grandpa's sander for this project. After you've removed all these tough to get spots, go ahead and wipe the board down with a damp towel to remove any dust left over from the sanding. Step 3. Step 3 is download our free template or create one of your own. Check out the link in our description to download the template we used for this video. Next, print the template of your choosing and start cutting it out. I recommend cardstock paper or cardboard for your template. For our template, I recommend cardstock so you keep all of those details in the design. Step 4. Cut out the template. I recommend a box cutter for cardboard or an X-Acto knife for cardstock. This is definitely the hardest part of the process, but it's totally worth it. Step 5. Line up the template on the board and start painting. Happy trees, everybody. Use a spray paint that's fast drying. We use the satin spray paint on this project that we highly recommend. You can find it down in the description or you can just go to your local hardware store and find some. Step six. Step six is clean up any overspray. I got a little overspray on the nose and tail. To clean up these spots, you can grab a grill brush or any kind of bristle brush, pair it with some water and down soap and scrub. I don't recommend using your wife's toothbrush. You might really get in trouble for that. I avoided that and used the grill brush. Just anything with like some bristles and some soap and it's gonna knock it out. Step seven, once your board is clean and dry, it's time to apply some clear coat. Apply the clear coat nice and evenly across the board. The more coats you apply, the darker and more durable it will be. Wait a few minutes between coats. The final step is throw those trucks back on there and take it for a spin. So grab those bolts and nuts you left in a bag or box. We're going for zero lost nuts in this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching our tutorial today. If you guys have any ideas for what we should do tutorial on next or what we should review next, you can hit us in the comments below or on Instagram. And if you liked the video today, if you could give us a like, that would be sick. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace.